I'm not kidding. The cubicle will kill you. Not because it's dangerous. Not because you won't get rich. It's actually because of something far more worrisome. Let's talk about it. What does the life of a cubicle dweller look like? How do they spend their time? Are their postures immaculate? Are they sitting under natural light all day? Are their eyes fixated on things that won't damage them? And most importantly, are they pursuing work that speaks to their higher calling as humans? You know the answer to all of these questions, no. This isn't to say some people don't love chilling in their cubicles, but that's not the matter we're discussing here. This video is about health, and in regards to health, the cubicle lifestyle is catastrophic. It's not a sudden deterioration that occurs during something like a car accident. Instead, it's a slow and steady death, characterized by a lack of exercise and a tendency to sit your life away. Who knows how deadly a decade of sitting can truly be? My guess is a lot. What's interesting is, this has nothing to do with the work itself. It's more so an adaptation by your body. You see, if your body believes that it no longer needs good eyesight, it's going to gradually allow it to diminish. If it detects that you're not exercising and prefer to be sitting down, your body will in turn adapt to thrive in those conditions. Your body is like a piece of clay that's being molded by your actions. The problem is, your actions are molding destruction. The good news is you can change this trend today. Many people who work with computers all day have replaced conventional desks with standing desks. Other more entrepreneurial thinkers have integrated exercise into their workflows. Dan Co is famously an insane walker. The man will walk over 20,000 steps every day and create content during the process. This kind of innovation is impossible if you're tethered to a desk with a fake authority figure lurking over your shoulder. I've been exercising a lot less recently due to a nagging bacterial infection and have noticed some disturbing tendencies. I can see my body beginning to adapt into something monstrous. I can feel my joints becoming sore and my posture being sabotaged. As a 25 year old, this is a terrifying realization. I see what my dad has done to his body and I don't want to experience the same fate. I see how hard it is for him to stand up from a seated position. I see what his lifestyle has done to his posture and I can see myself experiencing that same future if I don't do something about it. To conclude, this video isn't necessarily for you. It's a reminder to myself. Although I enjoy the work I do, I know there's more to life than sitting in an office all day. My subconscious is constantly eating away at me to move and do something else. I can feel it calling me forward, and while I'm lying in bed at night, I can hear its faint protestations. Humans are not designed to be sedentary. The apex forms of man are all active in some capacity. You don't have to become an athlete to experience physical vigor. Plenty of mental pursuits stimulate the body in myriad of ways. Take chess players, for example. Professionals often burn thousands of calories per day when they're engrossed in intense matches. Either way, it's essential to realize what you're doing to your body. And if you're not happy with how it's adapting, it's time to change course. Thanks for listening.